Hey! What you doing? Oh, oh, here it comes. You want the camera? You want the camera? Doug just wants to play with you. Oh, all right. Daddy just left for work. Made the bed with my pregnancy pillow. It is 7.15 in the morning. So, gotta do something first. I need to, I can't remember where they are. There it is. Change out my watch band. I really like this one. It's from, oh well, my camera's not focusing. From Strawberry Avocados. I got it a while back. Um, that piece right there is what worries me. It's a little bit loose, um, but it's like been glued on really tight. Like it hasn't ever like, Oh, maybe it's supposed to be down. I don't know. It's still loose, but um, I like this one. It's just really casual as well. And I do kind of like just, I mean, not that this is anything more dressy. It's still an Apple watch, but this is my Kendra Scott band that I love so much. And so um, I just like the way this one fits and feels a little bit better. Ezra, what you doing, baby? Fun fact. You already broke that once, please don't break it again. Like don't don't break it worse. Um, whenever I was in Jamaica with Ezra, Ezra, with Sam in 2021, we were actively trying for Ezra, but we like weren't um, we had we had actually talked about it with our friends. We were gonna start trying after we got back, and Sam and I decided to start trying beforehand because we were like, you know, we don't think it'll immediately happen. It takes some time, so let's go ahead and start trying. Sure enough, it didn't happen. We were in Jamaica. And I ended up um, getting, so that goes there, so this is the bottom. I got um, my period like shortly after we came home and if we would have made Ezra in Jamaica, if we would have made Ezra in June, we would have made him in Jamaica. Um, and so that was like funny. We all kind of joked like, cause I, had, I had told my girlfriends, I was like, I got a positive body relation test, test this morning and they were like, Oh my god. And everyone like knew we were trying for a baby, so it was just like really funny because I was like, well, maybe we'll give him a Jamaican name. Who knows? Alright. But we did not. We ended up making him one month later. In July. July babies make April due dates. Right? And apparently November babies make August due dates, so you don't want to give birth the hottest month of the year. Avoid November, right? Baby brother's gonna come when it's hot outside. And it's funny, I wouldn't say I like hate the months of the year, but like growing up, my birthday was March and school got out in May, so I always hated the month of April. I thought it was stupid. I gave birth to this precious little thing on April 8th, so now I like April is the best month of all. And I always hated August because <laughs> I had to go back to school and giving birth in August. So now, I think April and August are just like the coolest months ever. Are they the coolest months ever? All right, we're playing. Gigi gets here in about 40 minutes um, to get him because it is Monday. So today, <gasps> mommy has to film. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my batteries all plugged in um, so that I can get ready as soon as she leaves with him and get started filming, yeah. Yeah. Look at them teethers. You can show them your top teeth yet? I don't know, those don't really show up in the smile yet. They're not like down for like stuff. Yeah. The problem with him liking the camera is he recognizes it, but like, look at those. He's been playing with these, I swear, for 20, 25 minutes. They're the ginger ale, like the Seagram's ginger ale, I think. And they're not good. The diet ginger ale, I got these because they're like zero calories when I was in my, the thick of my nausea first trimester. These are disgusting and they have a lot more carbonation in them, so they've just kind of sat. And I guess this morning he found them. Gigi's here. You excited to see Gigi? I think she's in the driveway or something. She's coming to get you, Baba. So mommy can't work. Mommy got a lot to do today. Yeah. You're so cute in your pajamas, by the way. These are Burt's Bees. I like two pieces, and I like that Burt's Bees has those, but the onesies are really great. The only thing is these are more like slim fit. 
So if you have a super chubby baby, they may not fit well, but these are Burt's Bees and we absolutely love them, especially the grips on the bottom now that he's 12 month because he's standing more. And um, that's really nice. I'm getting ready. I recurled like the front sections of my hair and they're way too curly now. So I'm trying to like let them fall. Then I gotta straighten them. Um, okay, so a little pro tip just from someone who's been pregnant one time before. I don't know if this is the case for everybody, but with my first pregnancy, I did not have any swelling, none whatsoever. And my girlfriend who was pregnant at the same time as I was had some swelling that was like, she was pregnant. She actually gave birth in August and hers was like, it would get really bad when she would walk outside and it was really hot outside. Um, but her feet, like, so she swelled so much, of course it all went back, like it went away. Um, but her feet swelled and they like never fully went back to their size. I never experienced any of that. I don't know if this made a difference, but my aunt told me and I listened and it, it, it at least, Again, I don't know if this made the difference, but or maybe I'm just someone who doesn't swell. My aunt told me lemon water is great for like preventing swelling. Um, and then of course at the end, lots of long walks. But I, what I've been doing, Stanley with new water in it, new water, new ice. And I will take half a lemon. And I know that you can do this with like warm water, but for some reason, whenever I mix lemon with warm water, it makes like, it gives me the craziest acid reflux of all time. And if I do it with cold, it, I don't get acid reflux. So I ain't doing it with warm water. And I know you can drink lemon water like first thing in the morning. This ain't for that. This is just for swelling. So, uh, I mean, maybe if you do it first thing in the morning, it will make a difference. But for me, this is just what I did with Ezra. I've got my freshly squeezed lemon juice in here and now I'm going to fill it up with water. This is the only water that I'm going to drink today that I will put lemon in, but it does kind of give a little bit of a lemon flavor to some of your other water throughout the day. That's fine, it doesn't bother me. Um, I will wash my Stanley tonight and then it'll be fine, but that's it. Really good, so lemon water again. I don't know if that made, like if that'll make a difference for everybody, but for me, zero swelling even after I gave birth was very impressive and actually towards the end of pregnancy with Ezra I did this pretty regularly throughout my pregnancy but towards the end of pregnancy um every single time I would refill my water I would put more lemon like juice in there so really good Now I want to show you guys um, my sweater. It is so comfy. I gotta get. So what I'm doing is I'm about to make a smoothie. Um, show you guys my outfit. I'm gonna grab everything for the video that I have to film when I get home, so that as soon as I get home, it's already in here because it is a lot. I'm filming an Amazon video. It's like 
40 items, 42 items or something. It's crazy. Um, but today's fit, it actually is not that cold out here today. So I mean, honestly, this might be too much. Um, they just decided to skip winter in South Carolina, I guess. But this sweater is from Amazon. So comfy. Um, it does have a slit in the side. Fits that bump perfectly. You can see, little man chilling in there. Um, and then Target maternity jeans. So I did order some maternity jeans from Abercrombie that are a little bit more on trend. They're like, uh, not flare leg. What am I trying to say? <laughs> the like straight, straight leg. Um, I ordered some black and then some with rips in them. So similar to the skinny jeans that I wore with Ezra and then the same Mark Fisher booties that are really comfortable. So got to wear this to go pick out granite and then we will be good to go. Probably going to pick up lunch while I'm out, but I don't think there are any cups that are so I don't think there's a Panera over there. Get them gone. Um, problem is I, you know, you need to drink all this water while you're pregnant. You already have to pee more while you're pregnant, but I'm gonna make a smoothie. I'll show you guys these smoothie packs. They're so good. You could absolutely make these yourself. This one has mango, banana, apple, pineapple, and spinach in it. I mean, that's nothing crazy. You can prep them ahead of time. I just don't have time because I have a 10 month old. So I buy these. It's one bag is 150 calories. It says add 12 ounces of flu fluid. Is that how? Yeah, 12 fluid ounces of water um, into a blender. Personally, I prefer eight ounces. I think that it's a little bit thicker and not as like just a watery smoothie. I really like a thicker smoothie. And this is the coconut water that I use. So these are the great value brand. Again, just prep your smoothies ahead of time. But I just don't have that time. Hold on, I'll show you. It's so easy. kinds that are really good but personally I like these and then the max line actually in this is eight ounces so um, once it has all of the liquid in there okay it looks like more but it's just eight I'm going to drink this while I get everything ready. We got about 30 minutes till we gotta leave, so that should be perfect because seriously, gathering up 42 items, it takes a minute because it's all over the house. Like this is stuff I actually use. I only talk about stuff I actually use and recommend, so it takes me a minute to grab it all.
Okay, baby.